2023. <laughs> I think it's going to be fun. Been locking in a few races. <laughs> Staring down the barrel of running and racing more than I have done in quite a number of years. <laughs> uh, yeah, so <clears throat> it's January 4th right now and I've run a few times since the Cozy Miler but uh, nothing too serious, nothing too long, nothing too hard. Um, yeah, it's been a nice break to be honest but if I'm going to get any of these races done in any particularly pretty fashion, I need to start training. Now. Good to be back in the bush. Uh, I've actually run the past few days and yeah it's nice to be back into a bit of a routine again. Look Christmas was nice having a bit of a break from running but I enjoy running and I've actually locked in my first race for the year and it's 12 weeks away which is enough time for once. <laughs> So in 12 weeks time, I'm gonna head back down to Bright. <laughs> the Buffalo Stampede was such a fun weekend last year. And as soon as I left, I've been looking forward to getting back there. Last year, I really only had about six weeks of training. So to have 12 weeks from now to lead up to that makes me really excited for the racing down there. Those guys put on a really fun event and Bright is one of my most favorite places in the world. So we've booked a big house and got a big crew together uh, to head down for the weekend. So that is the first goal race of the year. place is crazy. <laughs> if you've been following along at all then it should come as no surprise that the focal point of my running year is going to be UTMB. <laughs> my podium at the Cozy Miler has guaranteed me entry so there's no waiting around for the lottery, there's no trepidation about whether we're going or not. I'm in, I'm there. <laughs> Sarah and I have been busy planning what can only be described as the quintessential trail runners European summer alpine vacation. <laughs> We're looking to spend six or seven weeks over in the Alps culminating in the UTMB weekend. I've, I've been consuming myself with all things UTMB the past few weeks. Maps and course profiles and coffee table books and YouTube videos and race reports, you name it, if it's UTMB, I've been all about it. I'm excited. And that takes me up until September this year. And that leaves me with one final race that I've locked in for 2023 so far. And that's the Grampians 100 miler. <laughs> the same guys that are putting on the Buffalo Stampede are running a new 100 mile race in the Grampians. And look, I've never been down there, but I do know a few people that have been there and I have no doubt that it's gonna be epic. <laughs> I'm a little cautious in locking in another big race uh, only two and a half months after UTMB. But if uh, UTA and the Cozy Miler taught me anything about last year is that I can actually pull it together fairly quickly after a big race. So look, that's the intent. 
obviously we'll see how things go and if UTMB completely buckles me then the Grampians you know might get put on the back burner for another year but that's the plan for the year I am excited about it it's more racing than I've ever done in a year ever before and they're all pretty significant races look uh, I suspect that there'll probably be a few other B races, smaller races that get dotted in around these other sort of key races throughout the year, but that's the bones of my plan for 2023. I'm excited about it. They're good races, they're big races, they're long races in big mountains, and they're the things that really excite me. So. Look, the plan is to continue to document this stuff because I enjoy making them, but mostly because my hope is that in years to come, I can look back on these times and smirk at myself at the things I used to do when my body wasn't broken. <laughs> anyway, uh, it keeps me out of trouble in the meantime, so uh, I'll keep doing this and uh, yeah, there's some running to be done, that's for sure. Uh, 2023 is going to be fun and <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Catch ya!